guys welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video we will see how we can deal with the email uh, gmail messages using smtp and imf server i have kept some important activities in our agenda now let's move to our agenda there i'll show you the set of activities that we are going to learn so the activities are these are the activities that we are going to learn so in our agenda first of all we will see how we can use the get imf mail message activity to read the email messages from the gmail account then we will see how we can use the save attachment activities to save the attachment after that we will see how we can use the save mail messages activity to save the mess mail messages then we will see how we can use the move imap mail message activity to move the uh, email from one label to the other label in gmail after that at the end we will see how we can use the send smtp mail message activities to send the email uh, to some recipients so this is our agenda for today now let's move to the ui path today there i will show you the implementation of all these activities all right so we are in the ui path studio now here first of all we will see get imap mail messages activity get imap this activity we will take it over here in the work area all right now let's see if we have any unused variable exists in the project let's delete it okay i think it was there now let's go to the properties of this activity and the mail folder will have to pass it over here from which folder we are going to read the emails so that will be test folder and the port to read the gmail messages it will be 993 and the server will be imap.gmail.com imap.gmail.com then we'll have to pass the account from which we are going to read the email so that will be this one okay and here we'll have to pass the password so we will generate an app password to read the emails from this account so for that we'll go to this url myaccount.google.com slash app password and we will sign in with our account then we will generate an app password so we'll select the app as mail and here we'll have to select the device so our device will be windows computer and hit on generate so in the yellow box you can see one password is generated that will help you to access your gmail account uh, mailbox sorry okay and inside this password in the double quotes we'll pass it over here so if we will come down here you can see only 100 messages we will uncheck it and here you can see we have the order by date here we can select whether we want to read it in the newest to first or the oldest to first then here the secure connection will have to choose it as ssl on connect and in the count will pass it as two at the end we will to generate we'll have to generate the output so let's create a variable mail messages all right so the variable has been created now we will take one activity over here that will be message box here we will pass mail messages dot count so we will get the count of email that we have read it then we'll check the subject of all the emails whatever are there in that particular output object so let's pass it over here mail messages take one more message box activity and in this we'll use current item dot subject all right so this is done now let's debug the code and if i'll show you the mailbox as well here you can see in the test folder we have totally three emails so it will show the subject of both the emails first time it will show it as rp challenge second time it will show it as let's automate so you can see it has given the count for this message box as the count is two now it will show the email subject so first email was the rp challenge and the second one was let's automate so you can see this is given this has given the subject of another email this is how we can read the emails from the gmail account 
using the get IMAP mail message activity. Now let's see how we can save the attachment from these uh, emails. For that, what we will do is first of all we will take one if activity and inside this if activity we will check whether the attachment count is greater than zero or not. Attachments dot count greater than zero. If yes, then we'll use save attachments now here we'll have to pass the object of the email that will be current item and here we'll have to pass the path so for that let's pass it as test as a folder name so inside this folder one attachment will be saved with the name uh, with the same name whatever has been given in the attachment in email so here we are getting some issues count okay the spelling of count was wrong all right now let's debug the code all right okay the execution is done now let's go here in the project and you can see one test folder has been created inside this test folder that rphallenge.png is saved so you can see how this is how we can save the attachment from the mail messages now let's move to our third activity which is save mail messages activity so for that we'll use the save mail message activity and we'll move it to the work area let's take it over here in this we'll have to pass the mail message object so our object is current item and here we'll have to pass the email path so we will pass it as email this email will be saved in the dot eml extension so email slash and we'll pass it as current item object dot subject and at the end we will pass the extension as dot eml all right so let's go to the properties and check if anything else is there nothing is there let's now let's now let's debug the code and see the result so if i'll go here in, in here you can see i already have created one folder called email and inside this email folder two mail messages will be saved with the extension dot eml all right so the execution is done let's go here here you can see two email messages has been saved so this is how we can save the email messages now it's time to move our fourth activity which is move imap mail messages so for that what we will do is we'll take move imap we'll take it inside the for each loop and here again we'll have to pass the uh, mail object and here we'll have to pass our destination folder so that will be test move and let's go to the properties in the properties same way have to pass whatever we have passed for the get imap mail messages activity so we'll copy this server and let's pass it over here and this will be 993 and from folder test and the email will be same and password will be same i'm just copying and pasting it over here let's see if anything else is there we'll make it as ssl connect now let's debug the code and see the result all right the execution is done now let's go to the mailbox and here you can see and here you can see lastly there were three emails now we can see only one email and two emails are moved to the test move folder so this is how we can move the emails from one folder to the other folder with this now let's move to our fifth and the last activity which is send smtp mail message activity so for that we'll take this activity in the work area and we will be going to use the same account as a recipient or and the sender so we will pass it over here and in this email we will 
pass same account and the password will also be same whatever we have used for get IMAP mail message activity so let's pass it over here in the password and the subject will make it as test mail all right and the port will be 587 and server will be smtp.gmail.com smtp.gmail.com so with this it will come down here you can see you can pass the cc or the bcc and if you want to give the account here you can pass the account if multiple accounts are configured and in case if uh, you want to give any specific name you can give the name over here which will be the display name for the sender with this all the configurations are done here you can pass uh, here you can pass the email message object in case if you want to forward that email so in in our case we are going to send the email so for that all the configurations are done now let's debug the code so here if you can see i have only one email soon one more email will be received over here as i have created one filter so if any email will be coming from that particular account will reflect over here in this particular folder so, and let's go to your path okay the execution is in progress all right so execution is done now let's come here here you can see one email we have just received it test mail so this is how we can use the send smtp mail message activity to send the email or to forward the email so so this is for the day i hope you enjoyed the video please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon in case if you are having any query regarding this topic or any other topic please write your comment in the comment box i'll try my best to answer your queries we'll meet in our next video till then bye bye